an elderly patient comes with a complaint of proprioceptive deficiency which is distally more and proximally less and we need to find out as a physiotherapist that what is the best 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 strategy for this patient to improve his independent walking this was a question my dear friends i asked yesterday to you all in physio quest series and for the same question i'm going to answer today and with the reasoning like why that answer is correct so the option given to us are option a which says that take a light touch or help of the furniture and uh, try make patient walking independently option b says that ask patient to look down to the floor and then ask them to walk option c says that patient ask patient to practice walking on the smooth surface like smooth tiles surfaces and option d says that ask patient to count while loudly while walking so these are the four options given to us and we have to find a correct answer now let's first understand what actually is happening here with the patient so here in the question information given to us is that proprioceptors are affected in the patient distally more in compared to proximal that means joint positioning sense is altered now we know that for proper gait you require three things one is proprioceptors second one is visual impact and the third one is vestibulo auditory response right so all these three if these are intact we can have a proper gait and it would be balance as well but here we know that proprioceptors are affected that means patient is having lack of joint sense in this situation last two options the first uh, c option which is like uh, using smooth tile floors are going to be a big failure because we cannot rely because already joint sense position is less we cannot ask patient to walk on the smooth surfaces definitely there will be a fall option d over here counting out loud is not going to help you at all in this situation or any other situation because it has nothing much to do with your gait walking so we can easily remove these two options the remaining options are option a and option b option a now says that light touch support from the furniture which is along the side of the patient now here the question is that we have to make patient walk independently now it comes to walk or practice independent walking if you are providing support while practicing how the patient is going to be the independent person so obviously that also doesn't go for the best reply but here the best reply goes is option b why option b because here we have seen that we are asking patient to take advantage of the visual feedback what patient is having intact so patient can just look at the surface and they can provide signals to the brain that yes this is the way the surface is and according to that you can sense the joint position or you can put the joint position and you can maintain the balance and this is the best strategy to teach such patient for independent walking i hope you understood this reasoning as well as answer if this really interests you all don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and physios and of course please subscribe to my channel physio trends for more and more videos like this and physio quest series